like, come on guys, come on guys. There's yeah, a river. There's let's a river. go. Scout and the wife and I are here at the Osabo River. We're going to do an overnight camp at Hoist Lakes Campground. I've been here a few times. The first time I came was with Scout, and this is where I did my opening scene for it, so I thought it'd be only good uh, to do it again. So this is Camping with a Girl. With a girl? So this is Will's first time backpacking. We're gonna take it a little bit easy. We're doing this pretty cool trail I've done before. Uh, like I was saying before, this is the Hoist Lake area, Hoist Lake foot travel area, to the best of my recollection. And we are doing the Byron Lake Loop, which is probably around, at the most 15 kilometers. I'd probably say closer to 13. But we're gonna do about 10 or 12 10, 11 kilometers today. We get to Byron Lake. We'll camp out at the lake. And we get there around supper time. And then tomorrow, we only have a few kilometers to the car to head home. This was a four hour drive from our place and into Michigan. And this is closer than anywhere I could go in Canada. So this is a good little getaway for an overnighter. Good little, little proving grounds for the wife too. So. See how she does. How are you doing? I'm taking my sweater off. Why is that? Because I'm hot. What? Because I'm hot. Uh huh. Is that what I told you was going to happen? Yes. But I was cold when we started. So Will is using. Oh, yes. My wife has a boy's name. Um, her name is Will, short for Wilhelmina. So when you hear me say Will, that means I'm my wife. Uh, Will's using a ULA conduit pack. Uh, first time we just got it, so see how she likes it. It's pretty ultra light. You good to go? You gotta fix the straps for you, so you need to be closer. Hey, little tire bud. Need some water. We're all drinking water. It's good to hydrate. <laughs> we came to our first little spot of water. This is called No Name Lake. And if you've watched my previous backpacking in Michigan video, this is the one I came to last September, a couple of Septembers ago with Scout, and we couldn't even access the water because it was so mucky um, that water level had, had dropped dramatically. And Scout actually got stuck in the mud here. I actually ate my lunch right on that log where Will is. And scouts frolicking in the water. That's good. <laughs> He's getting stuck again. What are you doing, Dum Dum? Come here. Come here. Yeah, it's all muck. Get over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's getting stuck, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's why I'm telling him to come here. Come on, bud. It's too much. Too much muck. Oh, shake. Good shake. Okay, get out of there. He looks like he hurt himself. Get out of there. Come on. Shake. Shake. Shake it off. Shake. Oh, he's going to come near me. Shake. Stay there. Shake. Shake! Oh my god. Yeah, thanks Thanks for that. Thanks. Can't complain about this trail, man. It's like walking on a, a lawn. This is where we are. Uh-huh. We have to walk from here to 10. 2.4 kilometers till our destination. Happy about that? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm very proud of myself today. I grossly underestimated the, dis the time we'd be walking. Um, the first time I did this trip was probably early on in my backpacking, Nis, and it took me a lot longer because I had a lot heavier pack. 
So we're gonna arrive at the camp at three o'clock. Yep. With ample time to relax. But we brought a saw and a knife so we can get some firewood and a good fire going tonight. So that'll be kind of cool. We can get some some footage down there, play around a bit. I found the elusive toque. Suitable for Michigan winters. <laughs> Wow. Good job, Will. What? Good job. What? Good job. That was a hill. It was a little bit tiring. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Just <laughs> nothing hill we went up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm tired too. How about you? <coughs> you just want to go play in the mud again? Let's see how it is. What's the matter, buddy? You want to go in the lake? You want to go in the lake? Go! What if we walked around and you just swim and fall up? More than likely. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are we waiting for? Is that a campsite over there? There's campsites all around the lake. We'll go check it out. You want a fish? That's illegal. I love fishing. Stay scout. Okay, so there's a snake right here. And I had this problem the last time, but it was a baby. Scout, stay. stay! And I'm not 100% sure on what he is. You gonna see this flare, flare his head up? Yeah. I think he's just pretending. I don't think he's venomous. Oh, he's caught up in some fishing line. Go, 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 go. Scout. Stay, Scout. Do you get that? I don't know. I stepped back. Put it on the other side of him. Don't, okay. Don't freak out, please. Leave it, Scout. Really? Really? Hey. This dog is nutty. He's gonna spend the whole day in the water, I'm sure of it. What are you doing? Oh, it's a log. It's a big log under there he's trying to pick up. Oh my. You're a silly dog. We got to Byron Lake, which was our final destination in three hours, and I was anticipating six. I was anticipating us walking two kilometers an hour. We did four. So really good. Uh, it's only three o'clock now. We got lots of time. So we decided to drop our packs uh, back at a campsite that I previously stayed at. And we're just walking around the lake to see if there's any better camps. I highly doubt it. The one that I've stayed at before is, I think, the best one. But we're going to check it out. we got time. So we're walking around, around the lake and I, I wanted to come and try and find the spot that Kyle and I did our super shelter. I have a video called uh, Three Night Winter Bushcraft Camp or something along those lines. And this is where we built our super shelter. You can see our old logs and stuff still piled up. It's kind of cool to come back to. That was in December. It's May now, so six months. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, please. Oh, Will, has got please, a Please, please, let me... Can you please get him off me? Oh, calm down. I gotta get it on video. No, no, you just gotta take it off of me now. No, I gotta get it on video. I hope I don't have any more. You probably do. Shut up. Stop. You can't, can't, you can't move if you want me to do this. 
Do you want me to do it? Can you please just... just you can't uh, move. <laughs> I got him. I, I want to take all my clothes off now and make you check me for tips. Mm, my viewers would probably like that. Where is he? I can't get him. Hmm. He's cruising. Kill him. Kill him? Kill him. It's one of God's creation. Not a good one. No, it's not. You're right. Some good dry firewood. I think this is dogwood. We've collected some wood and got camp set up pretty good. This is a nice tarp shelter setup that I've set up in my backyard once before but never slept in. So if you want to see that, I'll, set, I'll put a link in the description on how to set it up. But you can see it fits two sleeping pads. You got the Nemo Air, sorry, the Neo Air and the Nemo in there. Um, Scott will sleep outside of the, of the tarp. There's not, it's not supposed to rain, and if it does, there's plenty of room um, next to the Neo Air. There, he can sleep in there. But uh, pretty cool, not too shabby. Nice weather. It's like 60 degrees right now, and we are getting hungry. So this is what we got for dinner tonight: some uh, Montreal steak spot sausages and nor chicken and rice pasta dealy. So I stupidly forgot all of our dehydrated food at home. All the yes, food for the... Did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but this goes to show you, we just stopped at a corner store, or grocery store, sorry, and we are able to make, yeah, decent backpacking food. So we just cut it up and put it, oh snap, put it right in, uh, the sausages right in the, the rice. So we'll see how she turns out. There's a the finished product. I'm not too pleased with it. Kind of tastes like poo. What's a verdict? Not good. It does not taste good. No. no. I dropped the ball big time. Dehydrated meals would have tasted so much better. <laughs> the ones that are sitting in our fridge. Mm -hmm. Go clean our dirty dishes at the lake. That supper was horrible. I think it was a combination of the the rice and the spice sausages together, and I burned it. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it every time. Come here. Up. 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 Sit. Off. Good boy. Good dog. This fish has a ton of minnows. This fish has a ton of minnows. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you think about your first backpacking experience? I liked it. Except yeah. for the ticks. Except for what? The ticks. <laughs> Plural? Plural, there's been two. <laughs> and do you think that you would like to do it again? Yep. In a more challenging area? Yes. With more weight on your back? I could do it. I did yours for a little while. Uh-huh. You don't like carrying everything? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Is it good? Yep. Yeah? You got it all figured out? Yeah. It's working now? Yeah. You're recording? Yeah. So, I showed my cook kit last time when I was uh, in Algonquin with Doug, and it's the cat stove, blah, 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 whatever. But previously, I, this spork, my Snow Peak titanium spork, did not fit inside my cup with everything. And it's kind of a nuisance having it just loose somewhere else. So, I was going to cut it off, but Doug gave me the idea of just bending it instead. And that way I can use it kind of like as like a scoop or you can just hang 
on the outside of stuff. And the best part is now it fits inside with the alcohol and the stove and it all goes together with an elastic band on top inside my backpack, all contained. Food, or sorry, fuel, cooking pot and utensil. Bam. Open the all the whole way. Yep. And hold on. You put you put that all at more of an angle. Yeah, like that. But hold it like you mean it. Hold it with yeah. No. Okay, give her a shot. What'd you do? Are you okay? Are you? Do you give up? No, 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 no. I'm scared to punch the log now. All right, give her a shot. That's great. <laughs> no, you're using your wrist again. You're scared of hitting your knuckle. Yeah, I am. It hurt. Wow. Well, you're not going to get anywhere that way. Uh... You want to use my knife? You're using your wrist again. I don't care. Okay. You're a horrible student. <laughs> it's not even making a spark. <laughs> Alright, try with the knife. Look how raw my knuckle is getting. I can't keep doing that. You don't have to. You can be done anytime you want. I keep punching the log and it's not working. It's all about punching logs, bro. Get to fire. Get to fire. That's not gonna happen. If you're Ray Mirrors, yes. Put it in. I can't put it in because then I hit the log. Is it in yet? <laughs> All right, we're done. Okay, take two birch bark. Okay, we're done. We are Aww, done. Oh, that you, one really hurt. Did you cut yourself or did you punch it? I punched the log really hard. What did it ever do to you? Cut my way. Oh, she she magically got it off of off <laughs> off film. It happened, right? Yep, it did. Uh, are you looking for ticks? Yep. Did you find any? Nope, not this time. I could burn them off. Burn with, them off with now. the fire you made. Now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Caught it on the wrong part, but that's all right. More ticks. Not. <laughs> Sporting a boxed red wine this time. Tried it last time with Doug at, in Algonquin. I really liked it. And I know the wife likes the wine, so it's actually not too bad for boxed wine. It's pretty good. What? You are scary. So we just calculated what we did today, walking wise, and at home it was different. I think the Do you think that? <laughs> um, anyways, we just we just calculated what we walked today, and it was nine kilometers. So my estimations earlier were off, as always. So we averaged three kilometers an hour, which makes a lot more sense than four kilometers an hour. So three hours to walk, nine clicks on relatively flat area. This trail is good for a beginner trail, uh, very good. Um, and we're, we have another three clicks to walk out tomorrow, so it'll be a total of 12 uh, kilometers for this loop that we did. Is that it? I think so. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? So as you can see, this area has... A, what the heck? Is this more like Doug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not as mean. So you can see the area here has um, <laughs> a lot more trail system that you can that you can do. So as I was saying before, we only did this little one, this 12 kilometer total. But you could go up and 
do this whole whole thing. The the problem with that is there's not much water. Um, there's water here at No Name Lake, Byron Lake, Pen Penny Oyer Lake, and the Hoist Lakes, but that's just the the south end of it. The whole north end has no water at all, and you could cut down this old logging road and make it half half a uh, half as long too, which which would work. And someday I imagine I'll do that. But this is just more of a a quick proven grounds for the for the girl named Will. There's too many ticks. No more vino. Yeah, I'll roast that wiener. <laughs> roast it. Dip it in. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said dip it in the flame. No more wine for you. <laughs> Just didn't come out. <laughs> what? What do you do? You want a piece of that sausage goat? Do you want? Do you want that sausage? Nope. Good boy. Get it. Good boy. Get it. Get it. Oh, piss. You dropped it, dumb dumb. Now it's got dirt and leaf litter on it. Not the worst thing How are you going to eat it with leaf litter on it? I don't care. You're going to lick it clean? Lick it clean. There you go. Want some more? Do you want some more sausage? Would you like some sausage? <laughs> Scout, would you like some sausage? Scout, would you like some sausages? Scout, would you like some sausage? He's so annoyed with me. Yep. All of my sausages are cooked now. Am I sticking there? We've eaten all of the sausages. We would have had more food if you didn't forget it in the fridge. Forgetful Joe. Is it cold away from the fire? Yes. How cold? Very cold, especially when your bum bum is exposed. Wow. The mother of my child, folks. <laughs> Good night. How'd you sleep? Alright, I guess. What do you mean you guess? Cold. cold. You had a negative seven Celsius bag. The ground was cold. My hip hurts. You had a sleeping pad. Not my hip kept sinking to the bottom. Everything's packed and ready to go. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. You're cold? I'm cold. I'm me. Warm up. Yeah, me too. On the trail again. This is a good campsite. I'll most likely come back. We were talking last night. We might come back and do the whole big loop, um, depending. But that's for another video. Got my shorts and my long johns on. Shorts and my long johns. Shorts and my long johns. Like a Scottish golfer. Check this tree out. Oh, what used to be a tree. It's completely decimated by a woodpecker. That's pretty cool. Not holding on by much. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm, I took a lot of pictures with my DSLR and I'm going to post them at the end of this video. To a little bit of music. Hope you liked it. Bye.